Now, down the centuries, the River Thames has been London's lifeblood, and even now it plays a central role in the functioning of the modern city. And the crucial task of getting large vessels with heavy loads safely up and down the river has been managed by the same family for seven generations. Sally Williams went to meet them. As offices go, it's not a bad one. So this is the only privately owned ex-police boat, OK, of this really? style, yeah. That's you still got blue lights on it? We have blue lights for it, yeah, <laughs> and a flag. And we, Do they know? And we, no, not really. <laughs> and we dress up... Chris Livett is a seventh-generation Thames waterman. He's lived it, breathed it and occasionally fallen in it. Have you had any falls where you've had one foot on the pier yeah. and one foot on the boat? I've, I've had... I've done the splits. You've done the splits? I've done... I've, done, I've been up to here, up to there, up to there. <laughs> This was his grandfather's tugboat, a workhorse of the Thames and, back then, one of many. Uh, my grandfather used to tow petroleum barges through London during the Blitz. Really? Yeah, uh, servicing the docks. Coming down in my grandfather's time, now, we wouldn't be here because this would have been full of barges. right? Seriously? Houses. Oh, absolutely. Um, and they were up, it was like a bad day on, on the M25, <laughs> queuing up to get through the bridges. Today, we can easily spot one of Chris's eight tugs and pull up alongside for a chat with the master. Well done. Oh, come on. If we didn't use the river to carry all that, that aggregate or whatever it is, what would the roads be like? A congested, good coat. One of my barges is equivalent to 100 lorry movements per trip. Wow. Yeah. Most of London's rubbish comes out by, by river. And you'll see some of the, the rubbish barges going down through the yellow box container. You smell them you'll smell them before you see them. Yeah, yeah. Chris's company now help people film on the Thames too, from David Beckham to rather large rubber ducks to James Bond. Yeah, Stormzy we did recently. Uh, we did a big gig for him launching the 5G network up at Tower Bridge. Had you heard of him before you did it? I, I still don't know who he is. <laughs> Chris admits the river isn't always easy to work with, but it's his livelihood and his life, and like many others working on it, he wouldn't be anywhere else.